In the last clip, I showed you how easy it is to install Rhino Heli tape onto your bike frame. Now I'm going to show you what you do if things go wrong. Um, this tape is pretty indestructible. If you're short of actually cutting it wrong, you shouldn't really have to throw it away. Now, one of the biggest problems, the most common faults, is people, when they're working with this, they get the adhesive to touch together. And with a lot of tapes, you'd have to bin that and start again. Um, with Rhino tape, if you pull it apart, no damage done at all. Um, by the same token, this is, this is actually an adhesive, um, automotive adhesive. Um, if you put it on the frame of your bike and you're not happy with the way you fit it, you could actually pull it off, start again, and you can do that as many times as you want without losing the adhesive properties. Uh, by the same token, if you take this tape off your bike, even if after a couple of years, you'll find that the adhesive actually comes off with the tape. You don't have all this sticky muck all over your frame. It can take you hours to clean off. Um, another common problem is if you get a little fold in it, all right, or a kink, or more than kink it, I'm, I'm really going to give it a good working over here. Right, open it up again. Now that's probably worse than you ever likely to do, but if you get that on your tape, you haven't really damaged it, all you need to do is get yourself a heat gun. I suggest you always have a heat gun when you be working with this tape and apply a bit of heat to it. And it's back to its original condition. Um, the other advantage of heating it is it does make it very flexible, which is great when it comes to installing it on your bike. You can put it around um, welds, joints, etc. The other thing with heating it up, of course, is that it activates the adhesive. It makes it very sticky. And um, I always suggest that once you've actually put it on your bike anyway, you go over it with a heat gun and that really activates that adhesive and gets it sticking to your bike nicely. Right, another thing I'd like to show you is if you stretch the tape, what to do. Now if you apply it to your bike and you heat it up as you're going along and then you decide to take it off because it's not right, you're more than likely going to have stretched it in places. So once again, I'll show you what you can do to rectify that. Um, I'm going to heat it up. And now I'm going to stretch it. I'm stretching it a lot more than you're ever going to do by fitting it on your bike frame. As you can say that, as you can see that that's quite badly stretched, and um, as I said once, once again, most tapes you just have to bin it. Um, with this, you once again just apply your heat gun, and it returns back to its original condition. No damage done at all, and you can refit it to your bike.